It's a gorgeous day here in Nashville. Um, I'm just gonna let you get ready with me. Um, first, I'm gonna put on our Cinegents, um Color Correcting Tinted Moisturizer in Medium. I'm just gonna stipple it on. I love this stuff. It's great to wear even when you don't want much coverage or makeup. Um, it covers imperfections, dark spots. It provides anti-aging, skin cell renewal, protects your skin from the environment, just like our foundation and all of our other products. It contains CineShield and Cineplex. It gives the prettiest, most natural coverage. Um, I use it every day with my foundation um, because I like more coverage and um, it also is a double whammy for anti-aging and skin cell renewal um, as well as protecting your skin from the sun and the environment. Um, I'm going to use Tan Makes It anti-aging foundation and I'm going to stipple it on as well. Stippling is the newest, hottest makeup trend. It gives you an airbrushed, flawless finish without an airbrush machine. I actually used to use airbrush as a makeup artist, especially on um, brides and bridal parties. Um, but this stuff is so much more natural and it actually lasts longer than my airbrush foundation did. So I actually sold my airbrush foundation, Miss Jean. Um, it's, all of our foundations are color conforming. So um, there's no need for summer foundation and winter foundation. You use the same color year round. It color conforms and creates its own shade on your face. If you can see how natural that is. Um, up to three shades lighter or darker. It's also um, waterproof, smudge proof, um, prevents wrinkles, helps prevent aging. I'm going to go in with our Garnet Shadow Sense and do my brows. This is my favorite brow filler. I used to use Anastasia um, pencil and gel because I have a little bit left from yesterday, but if I took it all off, um, I have very little eyebrows due to my thyroid disease, so I love this stuff and the coverage because I don't have to reapply my brows throughout the day. Um, so I'm just gonna go up with a pen, with a brush that looks like that, and over. You want your brow to stop for your eye bone stops right here. You don't want to stop it at your eyelid. You want to take your eyelid out and make it as large as possible. So you have really big, bold eyes. So all I'm doing is simply swiping it along the tip. Very little of this is used. It goes a long way. Um, our shadow senses can be used all over your face. Used daily, one color. It's only $22, lasts about a year or so. I use mine for, I'm just taking what's left on my brush and going under my eye. All I'm using is what's left from doing my brows. This stuff is amazing. You have to work with it within 60 to 90 seconds because once it dries, um, there's no going back. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you our Foops remover today for the first time. Everything's been sold out because this company blew up so quickly. Um, I, as a distributor, couldn't even get a Foops remover. Um, I just now got my first Foops remover the other day. Um, now I'm gonna go in um, with our bronzing powder. It comes like this. You tap it to dispense it. You slightly dust all over. This bronzer is great even for lighter skin people. It's very natural. It's very hard to find a bronzing powder these days that doesn't have orange pigments in it or red. And I do not want any 
As somebody who only sunless tans, I do not want any orange or red pigments in my bronzer. If you can see how natural that looks. Now I'm going to go in with our candlelight found, um, shadow scents. As I said before, our shadow scents is going to be used all over your face. I'm going to do my window of light with my candlelight. Your window of light is this V right here under your eye. And I'm actually going to pat it in with my finger. And I prefer to do this over my foundation and um, bronzer. Just doing a little bit of highlight with it. Our white concealer is also awesome for highlighting. I just didn't bring all of my makeup with me since we're just on a two night stay. So another thing I wanted to say, um, I'm loving, as a makeup artist, I am a makeup aholic. I'm a junkie. I used to carry bags and bags full of makeup. Um, with this stuff, it's amazing. Um, this is what I carried with me. All of it's liquid makeup, so it's so compact. Um, I have these, and then of course I have my lip senses, because you never know when you're going to need a different color. You got to change your color with your outfit. But um, I just love how compact it is. I used to not be a very big fan of um, cream makeup because I felt like it was hard to work with and it was just messy. But um, if this stuff was powder instead of cream, then we couldn't have all of our amazing skin shielding and anti-aging properties in it because... You, you can't put those types of things into a powder. So it makes you feel good about what you're actually putting onto your skin. Instead of just looking better, your skin is actually improving. I personally own all of our skincare as well. And I know I'm really bad. I do not use it regularly like I should, even though I own it. Um, I'm going to start doing that soon. <laughs> I keep telling myself, but it's just, I've seen such a huge improvement in my skin and my appearance, uh, my luminosity, my, um, creasing, the uh, bags in my eyes, my wrinkles, then I'm starting to get everything only by using our foundations. So what I just put on just now you saw is another foundation. It's actually called a pearlizer. What it does is it gives you that JLo glow. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to start on my contour. So first I'm going to use, I'm going to use um, shadow scents for my contouring also. So first I'm going to go in with Garnet at the very upper of my cheekbone. And this is my favorite brush as you can tell I'm going to stipple it in as well. That's another trick I've learned with cream makeup. Stippling is amazing. Um, before I started stippling my makeup, I, um, even when I've tried not stippling on ours, stippling means taking a stipple brush. Stipple brushes usually are a different color at the top and the bottom. They look like this. You stipple means to pat it in instead of smear. What I notice with cream foundation, when you don't stipple, is Say for instance, I just put that contour on and then I smeared it in. I would smear off my foundation that's underneath. That's not a good look. Nobody wants to go back and nobody has time to go back and fix all types of mistakes like that. Then I'm just going to put a little bit of um, our bronze blush sips, a little squirt here, and I'm going to put it on my fluff brush and I'm going to go over my contour. You want your contour to go where your eyelid ends. All the way up, like getting to touch the top of your ear. Now you have a cheekbone. Again, I'm just going in with our bronze cream blush snips. You 
can make it deeper if you want. I'm all about the contour. Everybody's like, contour? What's contour? And I'm like, oh, you're not living. Okay, now I'm going to contour my jaw. Because we just want to look chisel. Now, if we could only contour on some abs after we have babies. You know what I mean, ladies? You can contour your decolette. I'm going around top of my face. Contouring is where you have a natural shadow. So I'm applying my darker powder where um, the sunlight would naturally hit me more. That'd be around here, your temples. We want them cheekbones. So here, don't go under your cheeks. They're gonna be puffier. You wanna go over them like this. Don't worry, I don't have more product on this brush every time I swipe it across my face. Um, contouring's all about blending. So yes, I'm continually swiping this across my face, but there's no more product on it. I'm just blending it around because we do not want any harsh lines You can see now I have a jaw, um, jawline and a cheekbone. Now um, you can go in and do your decolette. All I'm using for this is I've got a little bit of um, my bronzing powder. Sorry, this opens up as well. Um, so I have a little bit of bronzing powder um, tapped right here on my palette. Um, with a little bitty tiny squirt of my uh, bronze blush scents mixed in with it. It will also stay for our blush scents. It's also waterproof, sweat proof, crease proof, contains our natural ingredients. Okay, so as I was saying before, you can also go into your decolette. So that would be right here. You can do your shoulder bones for a more chiseled, thinning look. Okay, I'm gonna go back with my pearlizer, just a little drop again, and I'm going to um, put a little dot of this sandstone pearl into that and I'm going to put it on my highlight So for highlight, I'm gonna do my forehead. Don't worry, it doesn't look that crazy in person. These lights in this bathroom and this hotel are very bright. And you're gonna do over your cheekbone, your chin. Highlight is what it sounds like where the light naturally hits you. Contour is where you naturally have a shadow. So that is our pearlizer mixed with a dot of our sandstone pearl shimmer. Okay, the best part about all of this is when I go jump in the pool later and I get out, none of my makeup's gonna come off. I'm not kidding, ladies. None of my makeup's gonna come off. You can go sweat your balls off in a 5K. Makeup's still gonna be on point. I'm gonna also take the pearlizer and put it on my shoulders. I want a little bit of a dewy bronze look. Um, we're gonna go out later tonight and I'm gonna be wearing gold. So I'll also do a, t um, a video later showing you how I take um, my shadow into a bronze look. 
Sorry, I'm all about the blending. Um, as I said before, I'm not applying more product. I'm just blending more and more. I'm really leaving my lashes redone. But for now, I'm just gonna brush through them. I wear mink lash extensions. They are the best thing ever. These are almost five weeks old and they're still growing strong. I wanted to get them done before we left town, but <laughs> my lash lady wasn't available. Um, so I'll get them redone next week and I'll show you what they look like when they're fresh. Um, now I'm gonna go in with some of our blush scents and I'm gonna get a little bit of a glow going. I'm gonna use cherry blush scents. This looks really bright. Okay, guys. As I said, just like our shadow scents, it requires a tiny bit. So these are $22 as well as our shadow scents are $22. But when I say this stuff lasts you two years, our concealers are in the same type and require the same amount also. Um, I'm not kidding. It's going to last you forever. The blush senses can be combined with the shadow senses, with the pearlizer. Um, everything can, all of our makeup can be combined to create new colors. Um, it's just so much fun to play with. Um, what I'm going to do to tone that down just a tad is I'm going to add just a drop in my foundation because I don't want bright red. That cherry blush sense is a gorgeous color but I'm not gonna lie to you it is bright and very little goes a long way so what I did was I um, I've left my pouty pink blush scents at home so to create my own pouty pink color I used a tiny dot of cherry blush scents and then I put a dot of my tan foundation and then I'm gonna stipple it on you want to um, your blush belongs here you don't want to put it on the apples of your cheeks though because that's going to make your face appear rounder. So you're going to do it just under the apples of your cheeks. So. And I'll put it up to my contour. See how pretty and naturally plush that color looks. I love it. Now I'm gonna go in with one of my all-time favorites, our snow. I'm super disappointed. I left. I sh knew I should have brought every color, but I should have brought my um, bronze shimmer shadow scents with me. Especially since later I'm gonna be wearing gold, a gold romper. Okay, this looks very bright, but as you can see, this also required very, very little. I'm just taking, I've been using this same one for like six months. I use it every single day for many, many uses. And this is called Snow Shadow Scents. People seem, my two favorite shadow scents are actually Garnet and Snow, and they seem to be the ones that people are afraid the most of. Garnet is my favorite brow filler for anybody with darker hair. If you have medium brown to blonde hair, lighter, um, or even if you're redheaded, um, I would suggest um, either our light brow scents, which is our brow filler, or um, if you really want to get your money's worth, uh, I would suggest uh, our Mocha Java shadow scents. That way you could use it not only on your brows, like the brow scents, but you could also use it um, as contour, Mocha Java. You can use this contour, just like I just did. And you can also use it on your lids. Okay, I have not told anyone this yet, but here's one of my little secrets. A lot of these shadow senses have been out of stock 
and I'm a girl who has to have every color, okay? So, um, most days I only wear the garnet with either candlelight or snow under my eye, but I want a little bit different of colors today, and um, I didn't bring all of my shadow senses with me, but I did bring my Naked palette. Um, I know, but um, I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Um, anything that I like better than what we sell, I'll tell you guys about. So basically our shadow sense um, isn't fully set till after 90 seconds. So I'm gonna work with it while it's still a little damp and I'm gonna go in with my Naked palette and I'm going to kind of use my shadow sense as like a lash, uh, as a shadow primer. So I'm gonna go in with Snake Bite and do my lid over and it stays so much better than just applying this powder naked. I do love my naked palettes. I own every single one. I used to use them every day, but um, I don't use them as much anymore uh, unless I'm using a color over my shadow sense. So candlelight's also a great one um, to use underneath shadow. So I just use Snake Bite and now I'm going to go in and use a little bit of Booty Call. <laughs> the names of these, y'all. And I'm just going to go over the snow in my corner. So if you have a all-time favorite shadow set, but you just, it's creases or smears or, um, like right now, a lot of our shadow senses are out of stock, so you can't get your hands on all of them. Um, do what I said. Get you a candlelight or a sandstone pearl um, and do all over your lid. Get a garnet or a mocha job and do in your corner. And then take your favorite shadows and um, use our shadow sense as your shadow primer. And it will still stay so much better than just regular. It's the best. Um, when I first started selling and I didn't have all of my shadow senses in yet, the first one I had was candlelight. So for the first few weeks before I get in my shipment, um, I used candlelight all over my lid and then set it with my different favorite um, shadows. And it is the best shadow primer I've ever used. It is the best concealer I've ever used. It is the best brow filler I've ever used. I cannot get enough of our shadow senses. I really want my eye to appear bright, so I'm going to go back under my eye with the candlelight. And as I said before, I'm going to go in with the color everybody's scared of, snow, and I'm going to mix that with the candlelight, and we're just going to have a very bright eye. I'm going to go in with a brush. I'm going to pat it in. again. You can see how bright my under eye is. Um, and I got some shadow on my brows so they're not as big as they were. So I'm going to go back in with my, get some of that out. And I'm going to go back over my brows to shape them up a little bit more and cover up any shadow or powder that may have gotten on them. But as I said before, how I was saying that you could go run a 5K or go swimming or go out and sweat in 90 degrees at the beach for the day, it's not a joke. When I go swimming later, I will come out of the pool with full face of makeup. For those of you who haven't seen my other um, video yet, um, where I dumped my head in water and then tried to wipe my makeup off with a white towel, you need to go find that video. Um, I believe the name, a title I named it was, Can Your Makeup Do This? Um, I dumped my head in a bowl of water and then tried to get it off with a white towel. The towel was still white. This stuff is, um, 
at first that concerned me because I was like, what is in this makeup where it stays like that? You know, I'm a health conscious person and very into health and nutrition and our products are all FDA approved. One of the only makeups that are made in America and um, regulated by the FDA. That's huge, huge, huge. This stuff is like pharmaceutical grade makeup. Not only that, but all of it is good for your skin. It's vegan free, um, gluten free, non um, animal tested. Our stuff is where it's at. Now I'm gonna go in and always try to match my lips to my shirt. So I'm gonna go in and just bring out the pink in my top. Hmm, do we do bombshell or bravo? Choices, choices. First, I'm gonna line my lips a little bit. When I use the really light colors, I like to line my lips so that I have more definition. So I'm gonna line my lips with dark pink just to give it a little bit of color. And I'll let it dry. If you notice, our makeup is so pigmented that I didn't even have to put on liner or anything. All I did was take what was left on my shadow brush from doing my brows and put it under my eyes as liner. Now I'm gonna go in with my bombshell and I'm gonna do three coats. So you go on eye. Make sure you get your waterline. If you can notice, I did another swipe. You're gonna do your top lip. Go all the way to your lip line so your, pure, your lips appear full. This stuff does not bleed into your lip line. You can make your lips fuller with it without it running all outside your lip looking crazy. Now I'm gonna do a waterline. So that's still considered my first coat. I do the outer and then I do the waterline. Bombshell is one of the only colors in stock right now available to pre-order. coats. You want to go in the same direction. Leave your lips apart. Don't lick your lips. Let it dry. Then the third coat will be my final sealing coat. And a lot of people want to know why do I have to have the gloss? Okay, first of all, when you start wearing this stuff, your lips may tingle for the first few weeks. That freaked me out. But it's... <laughs> It's natural, and that means that it's healing your lips. It's actually exfoliating your lips, okay? The tingle can't stop on your lips the first few weeks without the gloss, so you're just SOL. So trust me, you want the gloss, okay, in the first place. Another reason is it seals. It is the fourth step, this, the mechanical science of sealing this. Everybody's trying to recreate our lip color. Can't be done. <clears throat> it's patented. Um, lip stains, not the same. This is a scientific bond to your lip. It's insanity. Two colors can create 13 shades. Three colors can create 27. The options are endless. It's amazing. So today I am wearing um, dark pink as my liner and three coats of bombshell. Bombshell is Jennifer Aniston's signature color. Um... I'm just going to go in and touch up. Now I'm going to do a little bit of mascara. Um, I don't have to do the top because I'm technically not supposed to wear mascara over my extensions. But when they get to where they need to be filled in a lot, I'll put a little bit on them. I'll put just a little bit on them today. You notice when I do my mascara, I go this way and roll it. And that way. Today, I'm using Lancome um, Definicils Mascara because um, I'm out of my lash scents. So everything on my face will be completely waterproof except for the naked shadow that I put on over and my mascara. Didn't think about that when I thought about swimming, did I? But I use our mascara like it's going on a style and I ran out, so I'm still waiting on my shipment. So the only reason I put um, 
mascara on my top is because my some a lot of my lashes extensions have fallen out so um, I just need to fill in a little bit but typically with lash extensions you don't need any mascara I get my lashes I get mink lashes done um, by moon at moon day spa um, she's amazing she also does um, brow derma um, microblading so this is the final look for today um, and I will do more of a gold bronze glam look later when we go out um, and I will show you how I take this look into um, golden goddess have a blessed Saturday